Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Holden, the artist behind All My Art and Soul. And today, um, I'm creating of Earth and Sky number seven. And as you can see, um, I have selected a bunch of collage papers, um, my paints, a uh, mixture of uh, what I get at Michael's Craft Store and Golden. Um, and I'm just setting out the black and I may, uh, I'm definitely going to add the red as you'll see later on in, the, in this video. And here are my same collections of old images from some old books that I find in various sources. And again, I'm going to tape up the edges. Um, I'm really liking the, uh, the finish. Um, I know a lot of other art journalists like to go right to the edges, but for this series, it just seems to clean up so nicely. Uh, some turn out very narrow, and uh, I don't worry about the consistency of the empty border on the edge. It just, I'll just use what I can use today. And as I can see, that left-hand corner has gone up a bit. So that happens to your tape every once in a while, a little curve, but no big deal. And I'm just starting to activate the surface again with my ink tents water-soluble pencils. And this time, as, you, uh, as you'll notice, I'm thinking more of a quadrant in the, um, dealing with the areas of of the watercolor paper or the substrate rather than horizontal areas and uh, I think you'll like the effects in the end. I'm not in front thinking about this um, I just realize this now when I can watch myself create this page. Um, oranges, reds, I do believe that's sort of a it's like a dark brown so it's like uh, like an umber and I'll just uh, just want to spread some marks around on the page, um, which will trigger a reaction to for me to to do something. And again, like I've said, I don't want to think too much. I do want to just react to what's there, trying to be as present as I can. And here I'm going. Uh, horizontal and vertical with my brayer. Just trying to get some interesting marks going. And that's the Titan Buff. That is a golden product. Can't wait to go get some new supplies. My birthday's coming up, so that's, you know, every artist is like, woohoo, new art supplies. Can't wait. Okay, so now that I've got some layers building up, things are starting to happen. Oh, and now I'm going to add a vertical with the black. Now, as you can see, see the more, the more you roll it, the more uh, joined the shapes become. So you can, once you've practiced that enough, you know what results you'll get. Yeah, and then I'm just trying to get a nice brighter color in here uh, because I didn't want to just do a neutral this time. I want to change it up. And then I'm really enjoying um, or really liking the combination of red and orange, orange and pinks um, as sort of your highlight color. It's really crosses, plus signs, however you want to interpret that symbol. And that is the, just the craft paint. Uh, it's like a deep orange. Uh, it wasn't bright. And I really like that. And here it goes with, uh, you know, your found objects. Stamping. Nice open circle, open shape. So as you look around for collage resources, um, I go to an old bookstore and I try to uh, find um, 
old sci-fi books, anything that has, um, if you sit and think about, okay, what, what do I, what do I love? So you might want to sit and think about symbols, imagery that speaks to you. And then when you go to the store, just write down a list and uh, your searching can be a lot more effective because there's a myriad of things out there. And uh, I noticed too that I was going for the, the one side and then once I flipped it, I liked the other side better. So then again, like I said in the other video, you can, you never know what you'll find. So when I'm pausing, oh, right. So uh, pastel, and I plan to use more pastel in the next pages to come. Um, I want to play with the, uh, how oil, oil on a surface and acrylic surface can react with each other. So uh, we'll, we'll be trying that. And as you can see, I'll just grab a page, grab an image. I'll move it around my page and see. And if it, oh, there it is. And it's usually in a subtle spot, not where there's a lot of high contrast, I notice. That one got messed up and it even looks better. So plus signs echoing the large orange plus signs. So uh, if something's really working, do it again repeat. It sort of emphasizes whatever you may be wanting to uh, communicate. I notice though um, I'm going more towards a feeling in my exploration of these uh, abstracts. There's so much more to explore. Yes, I didn't like the openness. Your eye went off the page there. And seeing this video now, I think a soft gray would have been better because it would have echoed the gray in the black and white photographs on the opposite side. That's how you learn. And that's just a piece of cardboard. I've used it so many times now. It's so layered with paint, it works even better. And that's pushing back the orange and red layer, but not hiding it. But see how it moves it back so it's not out in front anymore. The more layers you can build, but still with peaks of the previous layer showing through, works even better than covering the whole thing with gesso or another solid paint uh, layer. That tissue paper again. So just making a nice thin layer. That's the heavy gloss gel that I'm using. And if you didn't notice, I have sped up the video to two times the speed. I don't usually work this fast. <laughs> it's about a half an hour, anywhere from 25 minutes to half an hour. more of the black pastel. Just trying to carry the eye through the whole piece. Yes, too bright. I didn't put that in just because it was, uh, it's just like a big flashlight. So nope, wasn't feeling it. Oh, finally, I've got to put a piece, uh, a strip of moon. Yes, yes, perfect. I was hoping I'd fit that in sooner or later. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just clean that edge up. I think I'm coming towards finishing this piece. Oh yes. So I'm gonna finish off with just a splatter of black on the left. 
and you just add a little bit of water. Don't want it too thin, but it's too thick, it's not going to splatter right. And then I'm going to do the same with the white, just under this open shape. And the big reveal, removing the tape. I love this part the most. <laughs> oh, a little tear. So you remove the tape the, in the opposite direction, grab that glue and just seal it up and it is all repaired, just like that. So I hope you enjoyed this abstract with a little bit more color. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I want to just keep creating more. And stay tuned for number eight as I explore with some more um, different hues of blue. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you.